Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Troy, and this is Troy on Trails. If you're still blowing up your sleeping pad with your breath, stop. Just stop. There's a better way to inflate your pad. A pump. Now I'm not new to traveling with a pump, but I did recently upgrade. I've been using this guy for the past couple years, and I wouldn't have believed it, but it truly did change my camp setup experience. So I've been using this pump for a while, but I'm done with this clunky old device. Today, we're taking a look at an exciting new addition to my bikepacking kit, the Flextail Zero Pump. When it comes to my bikepacking setup, I'm a weight weenie and space is at a premium. So it's literally a high bar for me to add anything to my kit. And I really didn't believe the joy that a pump could bring until I finally broke down and tried it. Now, zero effort pad inflation may sound trivial, but doing other things while my pad inflates is a real game changer. When I'm bikepack racing, I value every second. I can now go from riding my bike to lying in my bivy in just a few minutes. I roll out my bivy with my sleeping bag and pad already in it, hook up the pump, and then proceed to grab my puffy jacket and any other layers needed for sleep. I'm literally ready to crawl in once the pad is inflated. Okay, so maybe saving a few minutes isn't enough motivation. Why else would you want a pump? There are a few good reasons to consider adding one to your kit. First, moisture from your breath can cause mold to build up inside your pad. While this statement appears to be controversial to some, I have a big Agnes pad full of mold to prove this does happen. Second, when you blow up a pad with your breath, the air will condense as it cools, requiring you to add air to your pad in the middle of the night. This always psyched me out, making me think my pad had a leak. Third, a pump is simply faster. Yeah, you could probably beat a pump in a race, but when looking at real world scenarios after a hard day's ride, the pump is definitely faster. Now, YouTube has been inundated with pseudo reviews of this pump over the past few months as Flextail sent out a ton of prototype devices to YouTubers in exchange for reviews. This is not one of those reviews. I bought this with my own money and have absolutely no relationship with Flextail. This means this review is 100% mine. It's a smaller, quieter version of the original. How much quieter? Well, I did a quick audio test with my phone to find out. The Flextail Zero averaged around 38 decibels while the older Flextail Mini, it averaged up to 55 decibels. It's a very audible difference in noise quality between the two. In fact, I turned on the old one out in the garage and my wife came out thinking I was running power tools. That's how loud it is. Now this is how everyone shows the pump but it's worthless without a nozzle. So this is how the pump really looks in my bag. As you can see, even with the nozzle, it's certainly small. Compared to my old pump, it's minuscule. Its dimensions are approximately one inch by three inch. It's about the diameter of a quarter. And as you can see, it's roughly the same length as a Wahoo Element Roam bike computer. Now they claim its weight is 1.2 ounces and they're bold enough to print it on the, on the device itself. So I weighed it and without the battery or a nozzle, it came in exactly as advertised at 1.2 ounces. But in reality, it weighs two ounces as it needs a battery and a nozzle. But yeah, it's still stupid light. So why not just use a pump sack? First, I find them a bit awkward to use and not all my pads have a pump sack option. But when compared to a pump sack, the Flextail Zero weighs roughly the same and comes in even smaller. The Zero Pump comes with six different nozzles to fit most any pad. For me, I found the nozzle recommended in the manual to be a poor fit, but fortunately, a different nozzle worked great. Flextail claims the pump will work with Thermarest, Climate, Nemo, Sea to Summit, Big Agnes, and Xped pads. Odds are it'll work with others too, as there's quite a bit of diversity in the nozzle selection. Once you find the right nozzle for your pad, it's super easy to use. You just connect it to your sleeping pad, then double click it to start inflating. 
That double click is a safety measure to keep it from turning on while in your bags. Now Flextail claims the pump can move up to 180 liters of air per minute. It also has a max inflation pressure of 2.5 kilopascal. Now I have no idea what any of that really means, but the 2.5 figure is just over half the kilopascal rating of my old pump, so I was a bit concerned until I tried it. Ultimately, all that matters is that it inflates my sleeping pad to a high enough pressure. For the Thermarest Uberlite pad, it inflated it in just 1 minute and 15 seconds, and the pressure was perfect. At this pressure, I was able to sleep on my side and roll around without bottoming out. While the pump itself isn't rechargeable, it contains a rechargeable CR123A battery. You can just plug a USB-C cable into the battery to charge it. While unscrewing the end to get out the battery, I found the threads to be a bit gritty. This leaves me a bit concerned about the longevity of these threads. Only time will tell. The pump comes with a lanyard, but I have literally no idea why anyone would use it. In the Flextail marketing material, they show the lanyard being used to clip the pump proudly to the outside of a pack for all to see, but in reality, you're going to bury it somewhere in your bags. The nozzles also have a lanyard. I'm not sure why that's there either. I recommend just cutting it off as I leave the nozzle attached to the pump because there's no way it's going to fall off. You can also use the pump to deflate your pad. I suppose if you have a pad that's hard to deflate, this could be helpful, but I find it completely pointless. I usually just open my pad's valve in the morning and use the encroaching cold hard ground to help me get out of bed. They claim you can inflate an average pad 25 times. I only tested up to 12, then got bored. Honestly, I've never been more than 12 nights without somewhere to recharge my devices, so I lost all motivation to keep testing and inflating and deflating my pad. But the battery level was strong when I threw in the towel. The hardest selling point is the price. While breath is free, the Flextail Zero sells for 53 US dollars. It's worth it, but definitely in the luxury category. So what do I think of the Flextail Zero pump? I think it's fantastic. It's a great device for my bikepacking trips, and it's become a must-have gadget. It's compact, lightweight, and efficient, and easy to use. It makes inflating my sleeping pad a breeze, and saves me time and energy. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more cycling gear reviews. And let me know in the comments what you think of the Flextail Zero Pump or if you have any questions about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the trail.